Okay, so today we are looking at Darktable. Darktable is a professional photo image manager and uh, it is also an editor as well. Now, this application is very, very interesting. Uh, first of all, it is uh, basically a Linux application. There are older builds available for Mac OS X, but there is no Windows builds whatsoever. So this is an exclusive Linux one. It is available for all major distributions. And essentially, it's very similar to uh, Adobe Lightroom or any other professional photo manager that uh, is keeps to a very minimalistic interface, and it really focuses on the content of what you're dealing with. Now, I am not a professional photographer, I do appreciate photography, so please forgive me for any uh, ignorance I might have in the image editing uh, arena. Uh, I feel free to leave comments below uh, explaining what, very, what these various functions are, but I will go over some of the basics. Now, uh, essentially, you can see here that we are in the uh, management mode. So you can rate, uh, you can rate photos here uh, with star ratings, and uh, when you, uh, and then you can see over here, you can put in uh, certain film rolls, uh, and this basically just uh, collects your library over over a period of time. Now, the only comment I would have is it's rather slow at thumbnailing. So I'm not sure if this is something that they're working on and they're going to fix in the near future, but it is a bit slow with thumbnailing, and it really does chew through the CPU. So it's not for the computer for the faint of heart. Uh, having said that, it is a very nice application. Now, uh, if I want to take one of these uh, one of these photos and then uh, edit it further, I can. So let's just take this one for example. You double click on it and you're into the light table mode. I believe that's what it's called. Anywho, uh, on the left here you can see that we have uh, a history, a history stack which you can toggle on and off. You've got image information that you can toggle on and off. And you can see here that this photo was taken by a Nikon D60 and uh, there's all your aperture exposure, focal length, distance, ISO, uh, date, time, etc. So that's all fun stuff. And, uh, and you can also take a snapshot just to incrementally save your image as you want it to go. Uh, now this is non-destructive, so unless you tell it to, it will not overwrite the original copy. So that's very nice indeed, and that's really come standard on most uh, professional photo editors nowadays. Uh, now, as far as uh, the uh, editing controls here on the right, we have uh, we have also we have the color profiles, such as uh, you have the sRGB and you have Adobe RGB and you have linear RGB. So they they're usually the the standard uh, color profiles. So feel free to let me know in the comments how color profiles affect the overall output of these photos. I do realize that it uh, it does make colors appear differently uh, depending on how you're going to print it, and it does communicate the color information to the printer but, but feel free to elaborate now also we've got uh, sharpening here so uh, although it really is only aimed at improving the appearance of the photo um, it, it's nothing too outlandish so it's not something like a Photoshop when you can go where you can just go to town on a photo and add layers and different things it's really just for basic uh, photo management and photo editing so having said that it is professional so they're not expecting you to muck around too much with the original picture uh, so under under here you can you can input color profiles, which again are uh, the the same as what we were just talking about. You can uh, crop and rotate a uh, a photo as well, which uh, of course is very useful. And then effects we only have monochrome. Now monochrome just selects a certain color and then uh, blends that color to be black and white uh, depending on the ratio of the of the colors that are present. So uh, it it is very basic and minimalist in its function. However, what it does, it does very well and it adheres to professional standards so that you can output photos that are uh, that are correct in their color profile and their color makeup, etc. So uh, it is very, it's a very, very nice application. It has a very nice interface. Uh, initially, I did find it a little bit difficult to to navigate, but after a while, you get used to it and uh, and you can work your way around. Uh, so for each of these, uh, for each of these photos that you have here, a simple double click brings them up. And as I've said before, it is a tiny bit slow. So it would be great to see some better performance here. But uh, overall, there's nothing really much to complain about. It works the way it should, and they are still constantly developing this application. So definitely give Darktable a go if you are into photography, and it certainly is a powerful uh, example of how good open source software can be. Uh, so with a bit more polish and some better performance, this application has some very big horizons. Uh, I can definitely see this taking on uh, taking on the Adobe Creative Suite, and uh, with Novacut taking over the video editing side of things, all we really need is the ultimate Adobe After Effects killer, maybe some really fantastic web designing, and we've probably got our own creative suite happening right here. 
So it's great to see this is definitely an application worth checking out. Uh, Darktable is the name, professional photo image editing, and management is the game.